Auto Truck is uh, an electric mobility company working within East Africa with its headquarters here in Nairobi and its operational branch office in Tanzania. We answer to the widest market of the developing country, and this is the middle to the low income earners of the society. And we do this through our two products, that is the electric handcart and uh, the electric three wheelers, which are used mostly for transport and uh, logistic services. So our greatest motivation has been the neglect of the middle to low income and as industry in the sense that our mode of transportation has not been dignified. So we wanted to bring a more dignified transportation for the middle and low income earners. This is improved speed for the mobility, improved comfort, in, improved security and improved stability actually. I'll start with the handcut. So conventionally, the handcuts here in Nairobi are used to transport uh, goods, and these are mostly used by small business owners and uh, business merchants, whereby they hire about four people to operate one handcut for a trip. And uh, this is paid through number of trips made and the capacity carried. So with that already, it, it poses the insecurity aspect in terms of two people operating in a very busy highway. And then to go to the three wheelers, most fossil fuel three wheelers right now are used as a public transportation, whereby you'll see people squeezed at a capacity of uh, four, you will see about six to five people squeezing in it for public transportation. And when you go to the coastal line of uh, Kenya and also in Tanzania, they're used as private taxis, as well as uh, private school buses, whereby communities come together. Then they pay two to three tuk-tuk riders to ferry their, kid, their kids to school. So that's basically the role of this handcuts and three wheelers here in uh, Nairobi and East Africa as a scope. Allow me here to get a bit mathematical because um, emissions of the CO2, especially in the transport industry, are emitted by 2.4 kilograms per liter of this uh, petrol. And here in Kenya alone, we have over 1.8 million of these fossil fuels. So if you calculate that um, working on a 15 liter, 15 liter per every full trip, by the 2.4, we see up to 72 million kilo, kilograms per liter being omitted. So with the replacement of this fossil to our electric version, whereby we cut down to zero emission, we can see this literally 100% transition in terms of the three wheelers. In terms of setting up, um, EVs, even before we go to the charging infrastructure, immediately after we developed the product itself and we have the charging kit, there's an issue here, especially in the third world, in Africa, actually. There's an issue of number one, security, and then number two, access, and then number three, this is um, servicing, so the skilled maintenance and servicing when it comes to that. So in terms of security, we are looking at a centralized place whereby we can have a one-stop area for all of our EV needs. This is charging, diagnostic center, et cetera. And then in terms of access, we are looking on, we are looking at setting up battery charging swapping stations that are centralized enough to reach, to reach the to reach the wider market scope. Because as we already know, the three wheelers here in Kenya, they are at identified stops. So if we can have a spread of this charging kiosk on these stops, this is all, this will also improve the access to this. 
And in maintenance, actually, we as Autotruck are already in talks with uh, the government body known as the Technical and Vocational Training. They're in charge of all the colleges here in Kenya to integrate EV technology into the um, mechanical and electrical engineering students as part of the as part of their curriculum. So that's what we are working towards um, security, access and maintenance. And this is where we need a lot of support setting up of this one stop green station. I would say a big yes, um, especially if the three things that I previously mentioned, uh, that is security, access and the improvement of maintenance and services is observed because already here in Africa, here in Kenya and Nairobi and together on the, in all developing countries, adoption of three wheelers is very high. So what we now need to introduce is now a sustainable three wheeler to feed, to actually answer to the community. So yes, I would say this can answer to that.